and I lean in and she dodges me. She backs her head away from me. Oh my goodness, mayday, mayday. That's how I felt, like what the heck? I was not mentally, emotionally, or spiritually prepared for her doing that. So I take a step back and I go, what What was that for? She laughs and says, I'm sorry, I just wanted to see like how you would react. So honestly, like she was just teasing me. I was just way nervous at the time. Normally I'd be fine with that, but at the time I was like, well, fine, I'm not gonna kiss you. So I didn't kiss her. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking, Brandon, I thought you said this was your first kiss story and I lied to you. Well, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Just kidding. I, it is my first kiss story, so it gets better. Well, yeah, well, it can't get worse. So we finished that double date actually with not having kissed and I could tell she felt kind of bad about it. She was kind of solemn and I was like, are you okay? And she's like, no, I'll, I'll tell you later. And I was like, okay. We drop Joe Rogan's date off. He comes back after walking her to the door and he's like 16 at the time. So I was 18, he was 16. And he was like, dude, I just got my first kiss. Me, Jules, were like, wow, like, good job. Well, actually, I don't know what she said, but I was like, holy cow, you just, how did you do that? And he's like, well, I went in to kiss her on the cheek. Bold move, man. At least that's what I thought. And she kind of turned her head and it happened and wow. Oh man, not that like it was a competition, but I just lost. So I dropped Joe Rogan off and now I have Jules and I'm like, well, I guess I'll just take her home. And she says, hey, can we pull over for a second? There was a few like man-made lakes by my house in Las Vegas, there's a few of those. And I was like, oh sure. So we pull over by the lake and I'm just like, so what's up? And actually, I don't say anything. I look at her and she looks at me and she just kind of moves over to me and kisses me. Just like, just like that. And I know what you're thinking, Brandon, you're kind of a wuss. And I would agree, but I don't care. And I was like, wow. <laughs> And she says to me, I think this is, this is the, this is the kicker. Not the kicker, it's just a fun line. She says to me, now you can tell Joe Rogan you got your first kiss. And then she pauses and says, and your second. And that, my friends, is the moment I knew that the french fry was a lie. It wasn't about the french fry, it was about kissing her. And so I said out loud, no, I didn't say anything, anything out loud. I said in my mind, I know what to do. <laughs> And so I lean in and I kiss her and wow. So there was nine clouds before, there's at least three more. I'm on cloud 12 and just a happy little bean. Uh, speaking of beans, I want you to meet my friend. It's an avocado, look at that. This represents the seed of love. I'm gonna stop there. So I'm on cloud 12, just got my first and second kiss. Oh wow. And I'm like, well, do you wanna go back and watch a movie? She said, yeah. Little did I know that she wanted to kiss me more. But honestly, I I wasn't thinking of that. You know how like at the beginning when we were holding hands and stuff, I wasn't thinking of actually kissing her? After having kissed her, I was not thinking of kissing her more. Don't worry, I've since matured. I know that it's okay to kiss a third time if they allow you. I just wasn't thinking of it. So we get back. I was like, hey, you, you ever watched the movie Iron Man? And she's like, no, I've never seen it. Because this was back in the day when that was still cool. Because it still was. The first Iron Man. Whatever. Good movie. So we put it on. It's fun. My family comes home from something, I don't know, and my siblings gather around the TV as well and they start watching it with us. I had no problem with that because I'm like, I got my arm around this girl holding her hand. It's so cool. And she whispers to me, are they going to stay the whole time? And I was like, I mean, I don't know why. She's like, oh, uh, I'll text it to you. And I'm like, what's what? So she texts me. She's like, because I want to kiss you more. And I was like, oh, duh. So I was like, okay, 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 they'll leave. I actually didn't have to do anything. Eventually they left. They probably actually got the hint more than I did. They left eventually and I did in fact kiss her again. Wow. <laughs> had no idea what I was doing. The story ends kind of sadly because though I knew that I was a rebound from the beginning, I thought that maybe I could, you know, become something more than a rebound. But she starts kind of being fishy and being like, oh, I can't see you, I'm busy packing, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, hold on, like, what's going on? And it turned out the guy who she liked before was back in her life and I was left with a broken corazón. That means hard in Spanish. But even though it ended with a heartbreak, I learned a lot. And looking back, 
I laugh at it and I'm not embarrassed at all. Like it's it's one of the moments where, I don't know, it's, it's just kind of fun to think about. And uh, it's kind of magic. So looking back, I'm not ashamed of having getting kissed at 18 or that the girl had to kiss me first. I don't care, I wear it as a badge of honor. And I tell myself that so I don't feel bad. Yes, I've matured. And when the moments are right, I am more prepared to make said first move. That doesn't mean that all my other kisses with girls were any more, <laughs> um, any more smooth, but I think we'll save those for later videos. For now, I'm glad that we've just got to know each other a little more. So stay tuned because there's a lot more awkward stories coming your way. In the end, I'm still trying to figure out what kind of content I want to make and what kind of content you guys want to see. But I realize that this isn't going to become like a job or anything, so I should probably just make stuff that I enjoy making. So telling stories is one thing I enjoy doing. So you'll probably see some more stories. You'll probably hear a lot more about my plants. I was recently on a dating show in Provo called Provo's Most Eligible. I probably will make a video recapping my experience with that. I don't know. I just hope that you and I can become great friends. Well, until next time. Bye. I look at her and she looks at me. I look at me and she looks at her. Me she looks at me and she just kind of moves over to me and kisses an avocado. Wow. Look at that.